Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful attacking game for you played by Vishwanathan Anand against Victor Bologan. The game was played in 2003 in Dortmund. Anand started with e4, c6 by Bologan, Karukan defense, d4, d5, knight c3, d takes e4, knight takes e4, knight d7, black goes for carpo variation, knight g5, knight f6, bishop d3, e6, knight f3, bishop d6, queen e2, h6, kicking this knight away, knight e4, knight takes e4, queen takes e4, queen c7, white castles, b6, and queen g4, forcing black to make some weaknesses on the king side, and g5 by black, let's see how is Anand going to use these weaknesses on the king side, Queen h3 and rook g8. Black is setting a cheap trap. Well, if queen takes h6, then this is losing for white. Black can play bishop f8. If queen h7, then knight f6, followed by g4, forking the knight and the queen. But after rook g8, Anand just played rook e1, targeting the pawn on e6. Bishop f8, by the way, instead of bishop f8, if g4, then already white can capture on h6. If g takes f3, then white can go for this rook sacrifice on e6. Let's quickly have a look at this variation. Queen takes e6, king f8, bishop h6 check, and black's position is just collapsing. Now comes bishop c4, threatening check made on f7. If bishop takes h2 check, then king h1, f takes g2, king takes g2, knight e5, d takes e5, queen g7, and after exchanging the queens, white is capturing on h2, and this is winning for white. White has two extra pawns. Let's go back. After bishop f8, we see queen f5, bishop g7, h4, king f8, and already the queen is hanging. The queen retreats to h3 square. Rook h8, h takes g5, h takes g5, queen g4, c5, bishop takes g5, c takes d4, rook d1, and bishop b7. Now everything is ready for the final blow. You can pause the video and try to find Anand's next move. Ready? In this position, Anand played rook takes e6, going for a rook sacrifice. f takes e6 and now instead of capturing on e6, the first move which comes to mind. Instead, Anand played bishop e7 check. King takes e7, queen takes g7 check, king d6, knight takes d4, queen c5, and bishop f5, trying to open up this d file. Black played queen e5, offering an exchange of queens. Well, if e takes f5, then this is losing on the spot. White can play knight b5, double check. If king e6, then rook takes d7, and it's over. Black king is getting checkmated. Let's go back. After bishop f5, we see queen e5, knight f3 discovered check, queen d5, queen g3 check, king e7, and only now Anand captured on d5. Bishop takes d5, queen g5 check, king d6, queen f4 check, king e7, bishop e4, rook h5, knight h4, rook g8, this knight jumps to g6 square with a check, king d8, queen f7, rook e8, bishop d3. At any moment, this bishop can jump to b5 square, and black resigned. Well, it's very difficult to find a good move for black, though black has two rooks against the queen, but this is a losing position, black king is in danger. That's why, as I've already mentioned, in this position, Victor Bologon resigned. Your comments and questions, please. And thanks for watching. Good luck.